We're back. Remember on the ninth video when I told you that I was giving you a little bit of extra time to write your draft and all you had to do that day was to go and install Google Search Console and I talked you through it. I'll link to it right here if you haven't done that yet. But today we are finally going to go in and look at Google Search Console and see what it tells us. So before we get started, let's talk about what Google Search Console is. Uh, a lot of people are already familiar with Google Al Analytics. Analytics. <laughs> Google Analytics is a free tool that Google gives you. You install a bit of code on your website and it tracks how people behave once they get there. So it can tell you what are the pages people are looking at, what uh, sources are they using to come into, whether that's social or search or direct traffic or email or referral traffic. You know, there's a lot of information about uh, how people behave once they get to to your site in Google Analytics. Google Search Console is sort of like the stepchild to Google Analytics. So instead of telling you what happens when people get to your site, Google Search Console tells you how people find your site. It is only tracking traffic that comes from Google. So it's not even all search traffic. It's not going to tell you, you know, who's coming from Bing and who's coming from Yahoo and DuckDuckGo. Uh, but it's the biggest search engine on the planet, so chances are <laughs> it's going to have that information for you, right? Um, a, a lot of information. There may be some outside of Google Search Console, but you'll get the general idea of what people could potentially be searching for in Google Search Console. So I'm going to take you over there and give you a bit of a tour of Google Search Console, and today we're going to submit our sitemap to Google Search Console. I mentioned that I think three videos ago, so um, when you want to make sure that Google knows where everything is on your site. That's the process we're going to talk about today. And then to, in the next few videos, we will go through the Google performance reports. So let me share my screen. All right, here we are. You go to this very annoying URL, which is search.google.com slash search dash council slash about. Or you can just go to Google and Google Google Search Console, and like the most meta option that we can get here. <laughs> um, and once you have it set up, if you just set it up, you know, 10 videos ago, this might not have a ton of information in here. You might just have what you did yesterday or what you did nine days ago. Um, but if you have had this for a while, this is what you'll look like on the performance report. So you'll see that it has an overview of what is the performance going on, uh, what is the coverage. Are there any pages on your site that have errors? Do you have any issues with usability or your page data or your page experience? Uh, oops. You guys don't need to look at all this for me. <laughs> like, do you have any issues anywhere on your site? So just kind of trying to get that idea of is anything broken? Um, and then for today's lesson, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to submit your sitemap because it is incredibly easy. It takes about two minutes. And what this does is it will say to Google, here are all the pages on my site. Please look at all of them. Um, so a sitemap is what is created when by your website. It's just a list of all of the pages on your site. You can even go look at your sitemap if you want to. Um, you can just go to whatever your domain is and then type in sitemap.xml. And for almost all websites, this is in the same place, right? Sometimes it redirects a little bit. I'm using the Rank Math plugin, so it goes to one place. But if you're on Shopify or Squarespace or Wix, you can just go to sitemap.xml and put this in. Um, so actually, since this redirects, I might submit two sitemaps. I might have this one that is the kind of the typical one that is sitemap.xml. I'm building this on kind of a dummy site right now. Um, and I'll take this one too, which is sitemap underscore index dot XML, right? Um, oh, I don't need that extra one. Um, and sometimes it takes a day or two for this to show up. You know, Google will periodically process it. You'll you'll know if anything's wrong. But here you can already see Google just in the time that I just recorded, you know, the 10 seconds that it took me to copy and paste it, it already is telling me that it has successfully gone and looked at my sitemap. So this is the kind of thing where you do want to, you need to do it probably once and then maybe go in once a year and just make sure that it's still loading because you might see an error like this, which I have on my other page, which is couldn't fetch. And I'm like, oh, well, it's only been a couple days since the last time it was read. So let me go in and figure that out. Um, but 
this is what an error message would look like. It probably won't show up on your site, but if you see it, then you can go fix it. So probably every, you know once or twice a year, just go in and double check that your site map is still indexing. Um, but this is just like a one-time thing for the most part just to make sure Google looks at every single page on your site. Uh, so that is our lesson for today. And I will be back tomorrow. We will go right into that performance report and start to look at the keywords that are currently sending traffic to your website. So join me in the next video.